Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. So I want to talk about solar panels. Um, solar panels are really starting to come down in price. And uh, if you're looking for a 100 watt solar panel right now, I've never seen prices this low. Um, you're looking at possibly, boy, probably 60, 60, is, well, 50 to 70 cents per watt hour. Um, that's if the panel produces the actual true 100 watts. Uh, most of them, I look at most panels as an average of 75% wattage output. Um, so that way, like, uh, see this panel here is, is $68. So I would look at this as just a hair under, uh, what is that, uh, 75 minus 65, I think it's 90, 90 cents? 7. Wait, hold on. I don't know what I did. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so uh, 68, uh, oh, I divided by 75. Okay, yeah, so you're looking at just about 80 cents a watt hour if this panel were to produce 75 watts. Um, and and I, I look at that way because, uh, you know, if you get the 100 watts, then, you know, you won the lottery good in the solar panel uh, industry, I, I, I see. Uh, I haven't had that many panels put out exactly what they're rated for because that's, uh, uh, you know, like... Uh, test conditions and all the fancy perfect conditions but uh, if you could uh, uh, remember that if you can get 75 percent of a panel that's about average and then you take the price and divide it by that uh, so that's about 80 cents per uh, watt hour if this produced 75 watts uh, and and that way when you buy a panel you're much more uh, relaxed and not so frustrated because a lot of the panels can't put out the full 100 watts um, but you, you can see the prices like I mean $68 for a 100 watt panel um, if that were to put out 100 watts that would be an unbelievable at you know 68 cents per watt hour so they're, they're really starting to come down a lot uh, I, I, I put aside a bunch of these panels up here so that way you can get uh, an idea of uh, what panel would work for you or if you need it like see here's here's a, 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 a very uh, good instance so like if, if you had a this is an uh, a bus or an RV uh, if you had a situation like this where you had limited space see they do have different shape 100 watt panels where two smaller wider ones would fit in that space as opposed to a traditional one and then you have to go find some 20 watt panel which you can't use because you can't put a 20 water with a 100 water or vice versa you know because it's it, it like you you destroy the power coming out of this this bigger one for the smaller one um, or the voltage um, let's see that's just one of them but uh, I just want to uh, pop up a couple of these so you can kind of see and you know take a look at them if, if you need a hundred watt panel maybe one of these will help you and work for your situation uh, you can see that uh, um, this is see this is 30 36 inches by 26 this is the exact same size as the harbor freight panels that I always talk about on, on my uh, channel and HQST is a very uh, big company they sell a lot of panels um, the next one we're going to talk about is Sunthis. Now, I don't have any of these panels. I'll be 100% honest. Uh, but I've just noticed the prices of them are dropping so low that if you're new into the solar panels and it's, you know, you want to get your first one to try it out, these are options that might work for you. Um, most of them have 30 day return back policies. However, when you buy a solar panel, chances are most of the times you have to pay to ship it back because of the weird shapes and sizes and whatnot. Uh, here's another one by Sunthis. That's a hundred watt panel. Um, so let's, let's do the math on that real quick. Uh, so that would be, let's see, it was 75. So that'd be about 90 cents a watt hour uh, if this were to put out 75 watts. And then if you got the full 100 watts out of any of these panels, remember that would be 70 cents a watt hour. Um, it gets it gets pretty cheap. Uh, here's another one. Um, this is the uh, Megsun. Uh, 100 watt monocrystalline. I recommend monocrystalline over polycrystalline. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more efficient. Um, and notice that the price goes up. Uh, so like this one was uh, polycrystalline. Notice that. And you notice how cheap the price is. Now both will work just fine except that the uh, monocrystallines, they have a little bit better efficiency. Uh, and then not to mention the color. See how jet black it is? I like that. The polys are kind of, well, I think this, this picture might be a little deceiving. Um, a, a lot of polys are like brighter and like a purpley bluish color. And that's one of the reasons I don't like them is because of that bluey purple color. But here you're looking at a monocrystal 
crystalline panel, guys, 100 watt by Megson. I don't know the company now, um, but uh, $20 coupon right now, and that brings it down to 66 bucks. So if, if that could put out, uh, you know, 75 watts on average, you know, you'd be looking at probably 80, 90 cents a watt hour. So they're, they're really coming down. I like the all black frame of this one. Uh, if you guys remember the videos that I made with the uh, Harbor Freights, they come with that aluminum look. And I don't like that. I, I don't like the traditional, like, I, uh, you know, solar panel look. I just, I'm not a fan of it. I like the, 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 uh, the all, like, see, see how that's a solar panel look to me with the aluminum frame? I, I'm not a fan of that, but everyone likes what they like. Um, so I, I do like that they actually have the all black frame. And then if they had the, uh, like the, all the hidden bus bars, so it looks like just one big black panel, it looks more like a window, like a dark tinted window as opposed to a, a solar panel. Um, this is another one. I think th this might be the same as the one that we saw. I can't remember. Let me double check. Let me put them together here. Um, I, I th oh, okay. So th this is the HQST polycrystalline version, and this one is the monocrystalline version. Okay. Um, I'll have uh, links that go to these so you can kind of check them out. You know, it's, if, if it works for you, wonderful. Um, if it doesn't, you know, no worries. Uh, and then here's another one. Now, this is a flexible panel, guys. Look at the price for a flexible panel, 70 bucks. Uh, top solar. Um, this is a 100, uh, 100 watt, 24, 12 volt, monocrystalline, bendable panel. 12 volt, semi flexible. Now, semi flexible means you can only go so much of an arch. Um, but, you know, before like it starts uh, like cracking or uh, over, you know, over bending kind of thing. Water resistance, guys, is not waterproof. Always remember that. Um, like I wouldn't recommend uh, letting it sit in water like this. Um, like it's probably like an I-65 uh, I rating on it. Um, there's not too much information on these. I'd, I'd like to know if any of you guys have any of these, and then we can kind of discuss in the comments if, if these panels are good or they're not. I mean, you know, sometimes you, you get, you know, panels from some companies that are not so good. Now, this new power here, I, I've heard a lot of good things about it. You can see by the ratings here, uh, it, it, it's, it's, not, it's not so bad. I mean, you have, uh, what is that, 73, 83, that's 88%. Uh, between four and five stars now I'm, I'm not a, a ratings guy I like to try it myself but seventy dollars for a hundred watt panel if that put out a hundred watts I, I would be very okay with that and this is a 9 BB that stands for nine bus bars um, that's more uh, efficient and better than the six bus bars as you can see there's there's a nine in between each little square area like this here um, and that way you have better uh, cell efficiency and uh, energy transfer so as you can see that, you see how there's nine, and then uh, on a six bus bar, you'll see these, these little areas that are, they're wider. There's only six lines instead of nine. So it makes individual cells a little bit uh, uh, less like when the shade comes and stuff, less power. Uh, but th this, is, this is a pretty popular company. Yeah, okay, see, see how these look more like a, a window as opposed to a solar panel kind of look? See how solar panel-y that looks? So, um, I, I always found these uh, these AccuPower. Now, I don't like the power output. I see this one looks very, very solar panel-y. I'm not a fan of that. But see, that's a six bus bar. Uh, or at least it looks like it. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. That's a five bus bar. Um, I think that, yeah, it looks, it's a little confusing, but it looks like a five or a six bus bar. Um, so the, the, the cells are bigger, and that way if, if there's more shading, it, it, it hurts the performance. But here you go again, 70 bucks. So a lot of these are coming down to a really, really affordable, hey, I want to get into solar, I want to try something. And $70 is not like, you know, throwing away, you know, two or three or four or hundred. You know, these foldable panels that I've been putting on the channel now, you know, they're anywhere between $400 for the big ones. Uh, all the way to like, um, oh my gosh, like $1,200. That's a lot. And if you're new in this uh, th this industry and you want to try it, that's a lot of capital to kind of throw out there and try for the first time on a whim um, without actually seeing like reviews and stuff. And you see they have many different versions and styles here. Obviously, the, uh, the more pricey, see, you get like a two-pack. And then see, that's a 10 bus bar. See that 10 BB right there? 150 watt, two-pack. So that's 300 watts of panels. 10 bus bars so there's 10 lines inside here see that there's 10 little lines but uh, I'm not a fan of those looking panels like the aluminum turns me off and the um, the, the solar panel look let's see if we have any of that 
uh, would ap ap apply to me. See, see how they're very, very solar panel-y look? It reminds me of a farm. If you guys, you know, back in the days, you drive past a farm, and you'll see those solar panels on, like, the feeders and all that stuff, and the water pumps and all that stuff, and the well pumps. But um, see, here's 75 bucks. And then, uh, that like, that's not bad. I mean, I'm still paying $100 per Harbor Freight panel. I have six of them. Uh, they're excellent panels, though. That's that's the difference. Um, uh, tried and true. I have six of them. They all put out the same power, very, very, very close to the same voltage. You know, nothing's 100% perfect. Um, but uh, very, very good panels for that 100 bucks. So uh, between these and the Harbor Freights, uh, you could save money, and if anybody has any knowledge of these, if any, any of you scribers out there, or or just viewers that pop in from time to time, has had any of these, please leave a comment and let us know. Uh, you know, if if any of these panels are good, because for me to you know go and buy all these panels, I'd have to put out probably a thousand dollars and then review all of them. And I I'm not gonna lie, I don't have that much capital to throw at these extra panels because I want the power stations. I want to review power stations. I like the panels, but I love the stations. So like here's a foldable one guys for 90 bucks. You, you don't really find foldable panels for 90 bucks. So if this panel, you, you see how it looks less and less like a solar panel now? Like if those bus bars were black, you wouldn't even know that was a panel. You can lay it outside on the ground. No one would know what it is. But uh, here's a little legs you fold up. And then that makes like a little suitcase thing. See? So if, if if that panel were to put out 100 watts like it says, I could see this one putting out 60 to 70 watts. Um, but, you know, you're looking at a dollar and a quarter a watt hour. That's not too bad, actually, you know, for your first one. And then, obviously, as, as your hobby grows, you can, you know, either sell or trade that to a friend or... Uh, some companies buy them back now. I saw that Blue Eddy is starting to buy back their own power stations. And that allows you to upgrade without, you know, wasting a ton of money. You can kind of get a little bit of money towards, you know, the uh, the the next, you know, greatest and best things. And, you know, these things are coming out like darn near every three months now. You know, every quarter I see new power stations. Uh, here's another new power, 100 watt monocrystalline, uh, 12 volt. Um, you always want to watch this, guys, too, because uh, the, the the VOC here, look, a 20% off coupon. You know, that brings it down to like 70 bucks. Um, but uh, uh, you always want to watch the, the VOC, which is the open voltage. So you always want to go down here, and they'll say somewhere in here, usually. See, so here's their working. Their working voltage is about 9.23, which means their VOC is probably going to be about 21 to 23, somewhere in there. Um, usually they have it listed somewhere. It might be up here if they have the ratings. Um, so like here's your, this is your cell efficiency right here, 22.3. Uh, micro cracks. Micro cracks, guys, if, if you've ever seen uh, like snail trails uh, on the back of a panel, you'll see that cracking. It's a little crack that goes right down the bus bar. Very dangerous, guys, very dangerous. Because if that energy can get out of there. Yeah, see, there's your I-65 waterproof. A lot of 100-watt panels are I-65. Um, I'm looking for the VOC. A lot of these don't really list the VOC on the 100 watts, I've noticed. They always put the working, which is VMP. This is the working voltage. And then you always put a little bit more for the VOC, which is, I would say this one's probably 21 to 23. But it could go all the way up to 25 volts. And if you have a power station that can't take that, you don't want to plug that in because you don't want to burn it out. Um, yeah, I, I don't see a, 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 let's see here. Uh, oh, here, okay, so here you go. This is VOC, guys. See, voltage open circuit. That means when a panel's all by itself, it creates voltage, and that's when it's not connected to a circuit, hence a battery or a connection. And it's right where I thought, 22 volts. So that way, if you had two of these and put them in series, it would be about 44 and a quarter volts. And if you had a power station that could take up to 48 volts, see, two of those would work. And then here's your, your amperage. That's your working amperage, and then that's your short circuit amperage. So it'll work uh, usually right there at the most, and then when it gets to there, it's short circuits for safety. That way you don't have a fire or something like that. Okay, and that, that, that's a new power. I've been trying to contact this company to see if I can, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, do reviews on their panels because they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. I'd love to add that to the collection of, uh, of companies that we're putting to this um uh, YouTube channel and that way we can get to see these panels in real time. I like real-time tests I don't like stories pictures reviews. I want to see 
I want to see it on video. I want to see it, and that way I can know where my money's going. I, I like that, uh, which is why we're always as transparent as we are. Oh, see here, check this out. See, this is a nice looking panel to me. Notice it does not look like a solar panel, guys. It's jet black. Um, the rails are black, the MC4 connectors. This is a panel uh, that I would buy out of all of these. Um, I've never had this company's, but the, I just on the looks alone, I love it. So if this panel would perform and it worked in my application, I would definitely try and buy something that looks like this. Uh, this is kind of how my AccuPowers look, which is why I bought them. However, looks are not everything, guys, so you have to be careful. This brings it down to like uh, maybe 75 bucks. Um, you know, if it only puts out 60 or 70 watts, then you have to remember that now you're, you know, you're back up to, you know, a little bit over a dollar uh, per watt. So you want to, you know, you want to always check. They have 200 watters. Oh, here, see? It's a nice square, and it's not a solar panel looking panel. I like that. Uh, let me show you if I can. Let me uh, make the video just a tad bit longer. I'm going to show you the actual um, panels that I have. I have uh, five of these. It's a 200 watt. Let me see. Uh, 200 watt uh, solar panel um, let's see okay so these right here I, I bought five of these guys um, the, the, the picture is a little deceiving because these bus bars here they're not as prominent as what you see uh, when you actually get them they're, they're much more dark you can still see them but they're dark and notice it has that same black frame that I like uh, MC4s, very nice junction box, and then mounting holes here. Um, that is the reason I bought these. I wanted them on top of my vehicle, and they're very hard to see. So, it, like with with five of these, imagine that on top of a vehicle, when you look down from the sky or down from a parking structure, it screams, "Hey, I have solar panels in here," which means I probably have, you know, thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars of solar generators and batteries in this vehicle. And that is an uh, an easy, um, hey, let's go, you know, steal something from that vehicle uh, warning uh, or on the lookout for, you know, the, the uh, not so nice person um, that they'll, you know, go and break in your car and take your stuff. But when you when you had something like this, okay, um, with let's, let's go back to that one there. If you had something like this lined up. I would I would say if, if I were to guess I would say probably 70 80 possibly even 90 percent if you had a bunch of those in a row on top of a vehicle they wouldn't think they were solar panels right away because all of those together looks like a big sheet of uh, you know like something you'd build in, in a construction setting so it doesn't look like hey there's solar panel and money in this vehicle you, you know what I mean like you want to be more discreet like years ago I'll give you an idea um, or, or an example uh, years ago when I used to install car stereos for everybody um, th there was always what I used to call a dummy system and a dummy system in bad neighborhoods or rough neighborhoods was a fantastic idea because all the people that lived in those areas that you know really like you know stole stereos and things like that in in the you know the high crime areas they would always look in your car and they would look for that nice Kenwood, Blaupunk, Sirwin, Vega, Sony, you know, uh, Jensen. They would look for those receivers, right? And then they came up with the, you know, the, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, where you take the, the like, pullouts and, you know, you pop the face off the... Well, what we used to do is have dummy systems. We used to have very, very, very expensive stuff. You know, uh, the, the old quote was, you know, the junk in the trunk. Um, and that was a different reference back then. That means that you have really nice, like say you had like some 15, you know, Kenwoods or Blaupunks or Sirwin Vegas or Sonys or, you know, whatever you had back in the days hidden in the trunk with a huge power amp hidden on top of the, uh, uh, the kicker boxes or underneath the seat or behind the seat. And then that would be hooked to an equalizer where you could have very, very good sound quality coming out of the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the equalizer a passive equalizer and then you would hook that to what is known as a dummy radio and a dummy radio is either a factory direct or a very very basic basic stereo um, like here I'll, I'll give you a prime example here uh, I know this kind of fades away from solar panels but it's 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 on the uh, uh, on the same kind of uh, discussion here so if, if you type in uh, car stereo let me see I can't even remember how to spell stereo it's been years okay so uh, here's here's a Jensen 
um, car stare for thirty dollars, right? Now that's that's not a big name anymore. It used to be real good, you know. Uh, same with Kenwood. But now the the neat thing, like here, see this is twenty six dollars for this car stereo, and notice it doesn't even have a name on it. So this I would call a dummy system. Um, now you know, notice if if someone were to look in your car and they see this, they think, oh, that's junky. They have factory speakers. This is garbage, right? But here's the neat thing. You see how small it is? Like here, let me see if I can find a picture of one of these things. You see how small that is, guys? You're looking at four and a half inches deep and two inches tall. Now, the one that I have in my vehicle, um, I think it's, uh, if I could find it real quick here. I'd, I'd, I'm not signed in, so I don't have my my uh, my my things, uh, my, my orders up there. But it was, uh, see a Kenwood, guys? When people see that Kenwood name, right away they think, okay, well, you spent money on that speaker, or that stereo, you got them speakers in a trunk. And then they would pop your trunk and take your stuff. Like, see, I would put this, oh, my gosh. So if you had this hooked to, like, $5,000 with this, you know, nice uh, 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 equalizers and amps and, you know, big subwoofers and nice 6 by 9s and stuff in the back, if someone looked in your car and saw this, they would think you're from 1980s, like a Back to the Future kind of reference. Because look at how, um, yeah, like this, like that's yucky looking. You know what I mean? For for most people would see this and go, oh, I'll pass. You know, that's something that your dad had back in 1980s. See, it's only three inches deep. So it literally has nothing other than bl probably Bluetooth and a radio. And then maybe uh, this is a USB thing here. But that, that that's what I was always referring to as far as... Um, being able to hide the the uh, the obvious, if you will, that does not look like a solar panel to me. If you had a stack of these on the roof, most people know this as a solar panel. But when you put that one and that one side by side, right? See the difference of that? That's huge, right? So you know you line them bad boys up in a row, real close together, and it would look like a big sheet of something that you're building at your home or something on your ranch or something, and nobody would even think it's a solar panel. You know, there's some some people that know that's a solar panel, but the 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 the, the best thing to do is kind of hide from the people who don't know that's a solar panel because those are the kids that'll probably take your your down stereo and your power station and your batteries or your tools or whatever. You know, I I work on uh, on construction sites. And uh, a lot of construction sites, you know, when, when you see that van pull up and um, like, like I'll, I'll give you a prime example. Um, people pull out a gang box. And now, if you don't know what a gang box is, it's a huge toolbox. It's basically for the whole gang. So, like, say you're a sparky. Uh, sorry. Uh, if, if you're an electrician, we, we call them sparkies on, on a job site. If, if you're a sparky on a job site and you pull out that gang box, inside that gang box could be anywhere between a hundred and, and a million dollars worth of electronics in there because they use very expensive high-tech uh, equipment so when somebody wants to take something they notice that that's a sparky box and you know people will make the mistake of putting their you know local 19 or the local 17 you know union stickers on their gang box and then you know right away oh that's an electrician's box that's a you know a carpenter box that's a mechanical insulator box Be because of the union stickers. So you're literally telling people, hey, I have expensive stuff in this box. So I like these. I like these a lot. Okay, well, I just wanted to run through this, guys, just to give anyone new in the in, in this industry an, uh, an opportunity to kind of learn more, uh, even the flexible ones, guys. Nobody would even know that was a panel. See, if you put that on the top, it doesn't look solar panel -y. It just looks like some kind of, uh, you know, like cheap covering that you put on top of your roof. Um, see how they have the all black ones see that that's fantastic because you would never know that was a solar panel if you stuck that to your roof and if you hid the uh, wires real good I think that would be fantastic I, I would like to try these you know I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to contact this company this top solar or anyone like this and and I would like to see you know see, see the difference between that white look and the uh, the all black look I, I'm a big fan of that a lot um, I like and then I would put maybe a piece of uh, uh, like electrical tape or over this name no offense top solar I put a piece of electrical tape over there and then you'd never know that was a solar panel you know because electrical tape is bait for electricity hence the name but uh, alright I just wanted to give a little bit more information to try to help anybody new in, in, in this industry to, to make a better decision or to kind of ease you into understanding what you're buying and where all your money's going and how it's being used. And, you know, that way you can use it a little bit more properly because uh, sometimes it's a very, very frustrating business. 
uh, as far as uh, an industry because if you don't understand something you end up making a lot of oopsies or quote unquote bad decisions where I should have could have would have you know kind of thing all right guys well rambling Bob I just wanted to to help I, anybody I can uh, if you own any of these any of these guys all these panels you see this any of these panels you can slow the video down and take a look if you own any of these please leave a comment and let me know how much watts you're getting out of these and that would help like I don't need the panels but I want to help other people so that will help other people say you know hey thanks for bringing this to my attention I didn't even know this company existed or that kind of panel existed or that style of panel existed so yeah leave a comment I'd love to talk to you about it all right guys ramble on be safe, and I'll see you next time on Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye!